Oh! What's that guy doing in there? Oh shit! Okay. I don't know what you guys were afraid of. I wasn't afraid. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, uh, we're going to go out and see if we can get ourselves some more points. We're going to kill a bunch of uh, Shroud Roots, do some Elixir Wells, that sort of thing. Uh, for the building project for this episode, uh, let's just see if we can kind of clean up the outside. Uh, we'll continue working on the upper floor in another episode. Um, so we'll, we'll just give a little bit of attention uh, to what's going on on the outside here. So let's grab this. Uh, we're going to need dirt, uh, which I think I have in here. Yep, we got dirt in here. Okay, uh, as far as equipment goes, I um, I don't think I've found anything significant. I've done the rounds again on the, uh, you know, on, on our legendary chess, and um, maybe I found one or two other things, but nothing. Nothing real significant uh, for what we want. Uh, what we're looking for really is the the ritual, the legendary ritual wand. We have the epic version now. Uh, by the way, I do have um, almost a full paladin set. I just don't have the hands. I have a, a full gloom monarch set, and these are just extra pieces up there. This is my tank tank chest, by the way. Um, I have a full spellbinder set here, which I'll probably never use, but I have it anyway. And these are just extra pieces that we've gotten from the Elder set. Um, and I have um, a full Hawk set. And I'm thinking about actually taking this set with me, or at least the chest. Um, stamina, depletion, range damage. Maybe the chest, shoes, and pants. Those three in particular for when we do the Kindle Waste Hollow Halls for that big, long flight. Um so I, I'm I'm kind of tentatively planning on doing that, taking those with us uh, for that when the time comes. All right, so let's see here. We're going to do some cleanup around the yard here. We're just going to get this crap out of here. Uh, I think we might... I could do... Uh, we could do a pathway around the house. I was thinking about maybe doing some flower beds, though, too. Oh, you know what? We should probably... Get that wall finished first. Um, I, I don't, I really, really don't want to spend a lot of time on this in this episode because we got quite a bit to do. Roughly cut stone block. Let's grab those. Um, oh, you know what might look neat is a, um, a flintstone walkway, except for, yeah, actually, I've got flintstone. I don't know how much I have. Let's see here. Limestone. Where's the flintstone? Here we go. Rough flintstone block. Let's make a few of these. Because, um, oh, okay, I guess that's all we have. Uh, these could actually look cool as sidewalks. We're going to need... To fix the wall down there too, but I gotta I gotta dig the basement out for that. So let's just do this. Let's grab our hammer and grab the flintstone. And we want to go to four meter. Um, no, I don't want you to snap to that. I want you to be down here. So. 
Yeah, I think this is going to actually look nice. Okay. We might need to... Yeah, let, let's actually do foundations just to clear the crap out of the way. It's not completely removing. I think we need to go a little higher here. Yeah, I'm going to like this. I, I really liked the Flintstone in Season 1, too. We used it quite a bit in our build. It's uh, It just looks good. It's also cheap, too. Cheap and easy to get to. Let's just kind of keep going all the way around the perimeter of the house here and clearing all the crap out of here. Um, those blocks actually need to be cleared out, too, because they're... Um, they stuck out from, oh, why isn't that clearing those blocks? Huh, that's weird. Okay, well, I could move, remove them the other way then, I guess. Get a little higher here. Higher and... Over this way a little more. We'll just, we're we're kind of carving the cliff out a little bit here. Let's go higher. Back up a little. Gotta go up again. Back to here. All right, let's jump up here and come at it from this side. go up here right there just kind of keep doing this Um, now I guess the question now is, do I want to do this in front here as well? Eh, I, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's just do this for now. And I'll think about what I'm going to do in the front. All of this crap here is going to have to be dug out too. Um, but we'll work, we'll do that when we actually start working on this little barn later, which we won't do until we get the house done. The house is the takes priority. Uh, 
A E it right there. There you go. Does that all look right? I think so. Okay, let's take a moment and carve these blocks back out of here. They're, they were never supposed to be there to begin with. I know this wall's a little jank back here, too. It's something we may want to consider fixing at some point. Um, Did we get off here? It kind of looks like maybe we did. Uh, Oh, shoot. We're out of flintstone. Yeah, somehow or another we got off. I must have overlapped at some point. But, I mean, that's easy enough to fix. But we're out of flintstone. Okay. So I'll have to mine some more flintstone up off camera. But I, I like that. I, th I think that looks looks good. Nice little walkway around the edge of the house here. This place is going to look damn good when we're done with it, man. <laughs> I, know, I know I haven't spent a lot of time in this series building, but like I said, I want to I wanna give more attention to it because, um, you know, I want to get it done and then enjoy it a little bit before we're completely done with the series. But yeah, that uh, that doesn't look terrible. That doesn't look terrible, I don't think. I know this is kind of jank looking along here, but that'll improve when we go down to the basement and kind of fix stuff down there. Speaking of which, let's... Um, well, right, well, that's right. We were going to make an outside access into here. And maybe what we'll do is we'll do that... Because we'll have we'll have this access here, that I, you know, and all that's got to get dug out, right? Um, and then I think we'll put this one over here. So if we're gonna do that, let's switch to um, roughly cut stone blocks, and let's go to stairs. And flip that around. Uh, I think that's what we want. Do we want uh, the, the wide ones? Or maybe we'll go with the 2 meter version instead. So I don't think they need to be that wide. Here, let me put snapping on so that goes where it's supposed to. Okay, cool. Um, now let's get rid of some of this crap in here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll cut our way to the back corner of the building. Uh, yeah, those will work. And let's go with... Uh, let's, let's grab a foundation here. I don't want to cut into the... Can I bring that back one smidge? Oh, yeah, sorry. Take take that off again. Oh, yeah, okay. That's exactly what we want to do. I don't know what this little compartment down here, uh, or why this little compartment's down here, because the chest was up here. So, yeah, that's that's kind of weird. I'm not sure what, what the deal is with that. All right, so let's continue... Cutting back. Um. Yeah, okay. We want to go right here. Yeah, that's just... Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I think that's... Right, that's just the base of this part that's sticking out. Okay, now I understand what's going on with that. 
Um, we do need to get this out of here though, because it's rubble and it'll, it'll look like shit otherwise. So let's go back here. Yeah. Just like that. Good. This is a wall. Right, that's because that's where the chest was hidden. Okay. All right. Well, we don't need that there, actually. <laughs> I was just like, I was going, what the hell is that thing for? Okay. Um. How far back are we to the edge? I think what I want to do here is let's put that in there and then dig it out. And kind of use it as a a guide so we know how far back to go here we want to go uh, actually no we want to go to here uh, I think to here so if I can push this into here ah oh, damn it well, here, let's just try this. This might work. Okay, get rid of that so I can try and see what the frick is going on here. It's the usual can't see what I'm doing situation here. Okay, get rid of that. Now, um... There's more stuff down there. Oh, does the basement extend underneath the porch? It, oh, I bet you it does. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's get all the way up to here. definitely the easier way to clear all the rubble out as opposed to trying to get it out with the pick. Um, all right. So that means we need to come to here then to get to the actual edge of the foundation. And then we got all this it's weird that they would put props down here and then just bury it with rubble, you know? I guess they just set the model of the house up and then filled in the rubble later. Probably what happened there. Okay, so that... Does that get our foundation completely exposed? It uh, looks like it does, all the way to the edge there. Okay, now... If we come back... There's the... Yeah, there's the wall right there. Okay. The nice thing about this thingy that I'm doing here is it doesn't destroy the props. So, you know, if you wanted to keep them, for example. I like that idea. Here a little bit and back out into here a little bit and back out just to clean all of that up Got a little bit a little spot up here that we could clean out all 
And it looks like right up there, there's some rubble that needs to go too. I'm going to have to refill. Well, no, the wall actually should take care of that. I think we'll be okay with that deal. Um, all right, let's do that. And that. Good. Good, good, good. Um, do I want to leave some of that stuff there? Just for decoration? Maybe. Oh, you know what, though? I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to take this entire floor out to get rid of the grass. I don't want grass growing in my basement. <clears throat> but that's going to have to be uh, for another time. Let's just see how much of the wall we can get in. So we want to go to 4 meter, and we want to go to walls and turn it this way. And we got to double up on this guy. Yeah, so. Yeah, camera angle. Damn it. And then I can use like the two by two blocks to fill in the top part of it. Um, this needs to come out another block and go up to meet up there. Like so. Um, sorry, yeah, I didn't, I gotta move it over one. Down up there. Okay. That's good. And then we should be able to just keep doing this. I don't care that that's filling in there. It's not a big deal. coming together. Let's turn it this way now. And go there and there. It looks like Hold on. It looks like I should have held those up one notch higher. Right there. Is that correct? No. I need to come back this way too. I believe that's correct. And again, we'll just have to fill that in. We need to go back one there. Yeah, I'll have to fill that in too. Okay. Well, that's all I want to do for now. Uh, but we, we made pretty good progress. We're, it's coming together. It is definitely coming together. Maybe what we'll do, I mean, you know, I'll have to figure out the front, but along the sides here, maybe we can put some flower beds in. At least, may, maybe not in the back, because, you know, we got the cliff here, but we maybe put some flower beds along here on both sides of the house. That could look really cool when the time comes. Let's get this stuff put away and go do some adventuring. We got to sleep, too. One of the places, it's a tomb that I actually haven't done on camera. Well, I've, I've shown you, I've shown myself looting the place on camera, but I haven't 
gone through the whole thing, and I will do that because it's kind of a neat place. Uh, but one of the cool things about that place is that I'm collecting a button of the advanced um, skull thingamadoodles. And we're going to put those to good use. Um, I'm talking about these things here. So look at all these greater summoning skulls that I've pulled out of that tomb. Because because there's hollow down in there. Like high level, level 30 hollows in there. Uh, and we're going to actually grab a stack of those to take with us too. Cool. Alright, let's sleep. I think Emily wanted to talk to us. Oh, maybe she doesn't. I thought she did want to talk to us. Um, let's make a few more of those. And we got 10 glow soup, 18 trap root, or whatever the hell those things are called. Um, let's make two more of these. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, I think we're ready to head out I'm going to swap out these bigger bombs for uh, let's just take a stack of the little ones because we're going to use that to break some terrain yeah that's looking good man it's looking good in the neighborhood I'm going to have to fill in both of these sides too <clears throat> okay so let's Go ahead, and we're going to start up here uh, right above Umber Hollow. Well, actually, we've got a well to the north of Umber Hollow and one to the south of Umber Hollow, and we've got the Smothering Pit. All of those places will have Shroud Roots that we need to kill uh, in order to get some more points. We're currently sitting on one point. I want to get Begon, not because I want to get Begon itself necessarily, but I want to get to Terror and Arcane Concentration. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started with this. So we're going to go to the Nomad Highlands Spire, and then we'll fly down to this first uh, route. Um, let's mark it. Yeah, I think I, I think I know exactly where that guy is too. Okay. It's gonna be down this way, right down on the corner there. Okay, let's get buffed up here. Grapple root. Mushroom glow soup or whatever the hell that stuff's called. I definitely want a shroud flask. Um, I don't think this fight's going to be too difficult, so let's save our frost potion and our elixir for some tougher fights, which we're going to be getting into later in this episode. Let's do this. I think this well is actually underground in a cavern. It's not... Completely out in the open. Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. It is out in the open, but it's got the... the hole above it. You guys can die. You can die. I don't think I'm gonna loot them. I've got so many of those materials right now. Okay, let's go down. The route is down here. Um, trying to remember. Somebody shot an arrow at me. 
Is this the one that's surrounded by all the spitting plants? I don't know. Let's uh, let's just go down there the correct way. If I I don't want to fly down there and then get myself in tr Ow, trouble. What the hell, man? Maybe it's a good thing I did that because I didn't have my wand on. Might as well take that. No reason not to. Get wrecked. All y'all get wrecked. One of these uh, roots is surrounded by a bunch of um, of the purple plants, you know, that spit the, the gobbledygook. And I'm not sure if this is the one that does that or not. No, it doesn't. Okay. There's a gold chest, but whatever it has in it, it's going to be too low level that, for us to be interested in, but we can turn it into runes. Oh, wow, there's a thingy there. Okay, we'll get this guy up here. Get rid of this. Oh, I guess I already got rid of it. Okay, our skull buddies are taking care of them. Mystic pants. Yeah, that's low level stuff. Alright, let's get this down. Very good. Alright, that's all we need to do here. I don't care about finding the chests. It's just not not important. Um, let's go to where do we want to go? I guess back to the spire again. I gave us four points. Let's take be gone. Now, a magic-powered punch that pushes and stuns hit foes replaces your unarmed attacks as long as you have mana. So that means we have to be unarmed. That doesn't use any mana. Pushes and stuns hit foes. All right, we'll try that. I mean, maybe that maybe that's pretty good. I've never used it myself, and I've never seen anybody else use it. Okay, let's get rid of this. We don't need it. Uh, let's get rid of these. We don't need them. Uh, we'll keep everything else. Okay, let's head on to the next location. Um, it is going to be uh, this route. Way the hell out there. Here we go. Maybe I should have brought those... That hawk set with me. Um, just to test it out and see how much stamina it actually gives us. We'll be fine, though. We'll have plenty of stamina. I think we're going to stay down in the shroud after we take this one out and just go after the d pit of despair or whatever the hell that the place is called because um, it's also going to have a root for us to kill. I know it's not called the... Oh! Uh-oh! 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 Um... Oh! Phew. We just, we just about landed in the red shit. I didn't even think about that. I should I should have, but I didn't. My bad. 
I, I, I do have updraft now, though, so I was going to updraft us at the last minute if we needed to. Another one of you. And one of you. Okay, let's replenish our shroud timer. Put that back on fireball. And head on down. Eh, shut up. the root at I'm not seeing it from here oh oh really can't take me anywhere man oh maybe this is the one that has all the flowers surrounding the thing just because there's one right there And it looks like it's also going to be a... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? You know, the guy that turns everybody into ashes. can never think of what that thing's called. Fell monstrosity. Bugger off, bugs. Silver chest down there. We'll grab it just because we can. All right, we got to get over there. There's the fell monstrosity, dude. just got up there and then I knocked myself off. Here, can we get on this and then go up and double jump? There we go. Let's nuke this bastard. Mm. Can't really see it from here. How am I supposed to actually get over there anyway? There it is. Pretty tough. If it goes down into the red shit, does it die? Ow. Okay, it's dead. kind of hurt. All right, that takes care of that. That gives us four more points. Let's go with intelligence. And Terror needs four points. On a critical hit with a spell, the target will be stunned for four seconds. Nice. And then this is... You will gain one spirit for every two levels of the flame. So that'll boost our mana pool significantly. 
Uh, Alright, we're done here. I guess we, we do need to teleport out. Somebody was tell saying to do this Rumors of the Dragon Cave, uh, that it's a good quest. We're not going to do that in this episode, but I will plan on doing that, because um, that does sound intriguing. <sighs> we can't teleport out of here for Smothering Pit. If we're going to go there, I guess we're just going to have to walk out. Which we can do. It's not that big of a deal. I guess this is the way we were supposed to come through here. Uh, oh, all we had to do is turn right. <laughs> it's been a lot easier. Oh well. We'll remember that for next time, maybe. Probably not, knowing me. We can tell ourselves we'll remember it for next time. What's that guy doing in there? Oh shit. Okay. I don't know what you guys were afraid of. I wasn't afraid. Okay. We want to go to Smothering Pit. You know, Pit of Despair, Smothering Pit, it's the same thing. Set that waypoint and. Nuke this guy. Nuke this guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, whatever. While we're on the way over here, um, let's see if we can take out a couple of the Uh, ammonia gland mushroom dudes if we run into them. I'm not going to go out of my way to look for them, but if we see them, we're taking them out. Alright, we're going to... We're getting underground here again. Okay. There's gonna be a fell thunder brute down here and some other bad bads. It's probably just a bug. Let's go around this way. I don't want to just jump down there. If we did, we'd probably be okay, but why take the chance? Thanks, Skull Buddy. This is a big tin mine too, by the way. For those of you who don't know that. All right, there's our root. And there's the thunder brute down by the root. Let's come down here. Kill those guys. Careful not to get too close to the edge. I know one of the... Uh, there's at least one, maybe even two of the tower shield guys down here. Oh, shit. How'd you get up here? Guess we nuked his ass. Anything back here? It's just another tunnel. Okay, he's dead. 
I think we just have Thunderbrute guy now. Yeah, get out there where I can nail you. Oh, I think he reset. <laughs> Our uh, aura things damaging him. There, he's dead. Okay. I'll just take you out. I think that's all the bad bets. All right. Let's get the stuff off of him. There's a gold chest here. It's going to be too low level for us, but again, Salvage. And salvage. Alright, nice. I think there's a couple other like silver chests around here, but again, not not really all that interested. Okay, let's go to here. Uh, that, that gives us four points. Uh, we can now take terror. And then we need five points for arcane concentration. Once we get that. Um, I'm probably going to start focusing on trying to get up to dessert stomach. You know, plus all of this stuff will, will help us a lot, too, just with stamina. So I've paid almost no attention at all to stamina. We did put one point into endurance there. The other thing I might do is I might respec and get rid of these. No, actually, never mind. I, I was going to say get rid of the lightning because I'm not using it, but I am using it. Actually, I'm using it on the wand, so we don't want to get rid of that. What's that do? That's the healer thingy. Okay, cool. Um, Next, this is probably a root tier. I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing that it is. So let's go take it out because those are going to be some easy points for us. Set that as a waypoint. Um, the only thing we do need to be careful of is that we don't fly into the gobbledygook. You do not go down there. I want to actually leave that spot open. So we can do our little punch -a thing. And we do need to think about repairing here pretty soon, but let's just go. We did that well over there several episodes ago. There's big hair guy. All right, I'm going to land here. And if this is a route, <clears throat> excuse me, it's directly below us. And don't think I want to just jump down there. Let's come down and around this way. Yeah, see there's red, red dead there. Hmm. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe we could fly over there and take a look from that side and see if uh, we can tell what's going on here. As we're like right at the edge of the world here. Oh yeah, see we can't even go past that. Okay, um... Yeah. How do we get down there? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to fly over here and we can look across the way and see if we can tell anything. Yeah, okay, there is a route down there. 
Okay. I'm not exactly sure how we were supposed to get to it. I'm sure there's a way. Yeah, it looks like maybe there's a path that comes up through that way. Here, let's try this. Hmm. Interesting. Why is that wraith not attacking us? Hey, cut it out. All of you, cut it out. Knock it off. Bugger off. I'm not entirely sure that... Uh, we took this route out in Season 1 because I don't remember it. We might have, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, let me look at something. So it looks like the way to get over here, just for future reference, in case we want to come and do it earlier in a new playthrough... You know what? I actually need some Shroud Juice. Uh, but I just want to figure out how to get to it for future reference. Some kind of ruins here. Fox Chase. Okay. So if we come... God, look at all the bugs. Guys, just need to get a fucking life, man. Uh. Alright, so we get... We get the fox chase, and then we just basically head uh, southwest to get to that route. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Good to know for future ref. Let's go back over here so we can just teleport out of here. It gives us just one point. Well, it is a, it is a, a it's not a well, it's a root. That's why we don't, we always only get one point from roots. Next is, we got four elixir wells in, uh, what is that? Oh yeah, that's my, my thingy by the sun temple. Yeah, maybe let's go there. We can repair there, too. I got a, a bench down. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, we have a well right here. We got one there, one here, and one here. And this one is got a level 30 Thunderbrute that we're going to have to fight, which is why I brought these. <laughs> um, and we, these other ones might have something pretty nasty for us, too. I wonder if we should go home and sleep and come back here. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back here in the morning. All right, we are back. Go up here a little bit. Um, and we need to go that way. Um, can we get over there from hither? Not sure. Yeah, we can at least sort of kind of start moving in this direction. Is that a VUCA camp or something? Bunch of bats and stuff over there. Oh, yep, I see the well. Okay, this fight's gonna be... This one's gonna be tough, because we are in at least level 25 territory here. So we're not gonna be able to just waltz in there and own the place. 
let's make sure we're fully buffed up. Yeah, we're still okay on that, still okay on that. Um, we're going to do an ice potion. An elixir. A flask of the fell. And we're going to do prayer of the flame. We're not messing around, man. Okay, let's do this. 